we've got some new armor. That's right. We're level 40, which means that we have unlocked the third tier or fourth tier of armor modifiers. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I discovered that quite on accident while I was rolling some Valkyr after last episode's video. Speaking of last episode's video, Henry died, and I don't know why, so the train stopped working. But uh, that is neither here nor there. It's way over there. And we're not worrying about that right now. What we're worrying about is the fact that I have 11 armor boots and 13 armor pants with plus 5 armor. To be honest, these pants are probably never changing, considering they're actually 18 armor pants and are amazing. But the boots... Oh, uh, wait, no, those are also 15 armor. Okay, so new boots, new pants, really good stuff. That leaves our chest plate and our helmet kind of in the dust here, though this chest plate is really, really good. I don't know if we're ever going to be changing this one per se. And our sword rolled new as well. That's plus three chaining because now we also have the second tier of chaining and cleaving. Also, oh my gosh, that fatal strike chance. Yeah, it's got a cool little model called the Swax, the Sword Axe. So we've got some gear rolling to do, and lucky for us, we have got plenty of vault alloy. Not so much gold, but that could be easily remedied. But I want to start with getting a new hat. Man, one day I hope this armor isn't always scrappy, you know? See, it's always scrappy. 12 armor, though. Ooh, with resistance and item quantity. Um, I don't know. 14% damage and 10% item rarity is hard to pass up, so I think I'm going to keep going with it. But we do have to craft some of our bronze, and we are low on bronze. A lot of our bronze went into making this sword. That fatal... Oh, I should explain what fatal strike chance and damage is. There's a 12% chance that the sword is going to do 52% extra damage. That's pretty great. And the reason it doesn't have the extra damage, like, like plus 10 or whatever damage that our other sword had, is because we rolled chaining. And you can no longer roll additional damage in chaining. And I want the plus 3 chaining more than I want the plus 10 damage. Okay, we have 7 gold pieces. That'll help us. Oh, we need some more netherite too. Can you make an idol with different gods' blessings? I wonder. I wonder. I'm gonna go try that. Oh, you you can make a combination idol. I wonder which one it'll be. Velara. Give a great idol. Give an epic idol. Give an omega idol. Ooh, common idol. I will take that over Scrappy. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 10% Velara affinity. That's quite good. All right, let's roll this guy. Let's roll this guy. Let's see what he gives. Ooh, soul chance? Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. Wow, soul chance and speed. New idol. Bam. Get out of here, Idona idol. You got a new successor. Ta-da. Wow. Good start. Good start. I'd love a piece of Omega gear. We've still only ever gotten one Omega axe that wasn't even that good. Give me the Omega hat. Rare. Okay, okay, okay. Rare. And it's the bard hat. Nine armor. No. Bad. Scrappy. Bleh. 10 armor, uh, with damage though, but less damage and it's the same amount of armor. Okay, so not so good, not so good. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep making hats until we get it. Give me an Omega. Oh, come on, it was right there. It was right there. Ah, five armor. That's just insulting. Ah, 13 armor is cool though. With only a plus 14 mana though, meh. Last hat I can make. Man, it is so expensive to make Valkyr. I wish it was cheaper. But, I mean, if it was cheaper, I just had the Valkyr. Oh, common. Okay, okay. And uh, six armor, so it doesn't even matter. It's garbage. These guys are garbage. This guy's garbage. This guy's less garbage, I guess. I mean, I don't think I'm going to give up this hat for any of these guys. I think I'm just going to scrap them, to be honest. Well, actually, this hat's probably better for my Eternal. Hold on. Hey, buddy. What's your hat at? Uh, oh, health resistance. Six armor. This is same resistance. Loses quite a bit of health. The armor goes way up. Um, I'm going to stick with that hat. I'm going to stick with this hat. Just in case, I'll keep this one. And I'll keep... 
this one. The other ones get scrapped. It is so sad to see all these jewels and gems inside of our Soul Shard shop, even though uh, we can't use them anymore. Well, we're not, we shouldn't use them anymore. For those that don't know, they're going to be removing the jewels in the next update of Vault Hunters. So we got to say kind of bye-bye to those. Well, seeing as we didn't have much luck with any of our armor rolls, I'm going to repair core our chest piece because it is still very, very good and accounts for literally every single point of additional health. And I got to actually go enchant up our new pantaloons and booty boys. So let me go do that real quick. Now the boots look fine, but the pants need to change because I'm, I, I like this power armor like style we've got. So let's see. Not fairy leggings per se. Maybe the dark reinforced... Not the night leggings. Well, I was using the reinforced plate mail. Maybe the dark reinforced would look better, though. Let's see. That was expensive. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, whoa. Yes. This looks so cool. Oh, I really am in power armor. It even looks like I'm, like, powered up, you know, wow, 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 yeah, I love it, and I've got, like, this is, like, a, I don't know, I want to get one of the laser sword skins, I've been rolling so many swords because there are so many cool transmogs, and I really want this one because it looks like a laser sword, and I want this one because it looks like a laser sword, and I want this one because it looks like a laser sword, and I want this one because it looks like Darth Maul's sword, I want this one because it looks really cool, and I want this one, and, I mean, oh, that one looks so cool, but these are, like, the special ones, I don't know how to get those. I, I, I love the transmog system. And as I was talking about last episode, I don't really feel like Hunter has ever really given us much in the way of completions. So I am going to change the specialization to be ornate. Now, I could upgrade this right now, but I've kind of been saving my points to put into reach. But I could also just unlearn it once we have enough Valkyr too. I think I'm going to put all four of these points into it, because every time we upgrade it, it's seven seconds off, right? So 28, almost 30 seconds off? Yeah. Only a minute and a half now? Oh, this is going to be really nice. I might never go back. That looks really nice. Even with my eyeballs, that looks nice. While that certainly feels like enough rambling and bambling, I would rather just get on into a vault. We have fresh set of gear, a new amazing sword. And I really just kind of want to see what we can do. Furious, but wealthy. All right, the Furious is kind of sad, but we have 55 armor points. Okay, immediately challenge dig site room. No, thank you. I will not be partaking. These rooms are just kind of notorious for dropping a creeper on your head and then killing you outright. No one has ever recommended that you do them. The rewards are a bunch of wooden chests. They suck. Do not do those. Give me your name. Wow, that is despicable. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going until I find some ornates. I'd love an ornate castle. I got an ornate castle in a vault I did a while ago, but it was at the uh, end of the vault, so it was completely useless. I didn't enchant my idol. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm not going to use it. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna actually go and break my idol instant. Yeah, it's already taking too much damage. All right. Unfortunately, no new idol for this vault run. No, no additional soul chance. Very sad, but I'm not, I'm not about to break my idol. Oh, chaining is so nice. Chaining is so nice. I have missed it. Oh, a monolith. Hello, friend. Any ornates, though? Wow. All right. Just a complete ornate dry spell, but I did see that pylon down there. Blue is mana refill? Yeah. Don't need it, but I will take it. Here's my theory. We're not going to find ornates for a while, right? But then we're going to get an ornate castle and like every other chest is going to be epic omega and we're going to have the looting set on and it's going to be amazing. Oh, I have a trinket on. Hold on. I forgot to mention in the last step, I got the, the duck trinket, the one that gives 50% item rarity. I, I should have been more clear about that. Yes, duck trinket is awesome. So that actually should mean that when we start finding these elusive ornates, we should be getting a lot of bulk gear, because I imagine that... Oh, scary. I hate that chaining bug. Anyways, I imagine that, uh, you know, bulk gear is considered a particularly rare item, so excited to see when we start getting it. There was a shield, but 
Well, I don't really care about the shields. We already have a shield with 20% block chance, so we don't really need another one. Hey, 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 hey. None of that, none of that. Okay, we're down here now. Uh, my Eternal is unalived. Why is that? Why wouldn't I revive him? He's my best buddy, my friend. Oh, infinite water bucket is clutching. Or, well, infinite water bucket is cheesing, I, su I should say. But once these guys are all dead, there's no threat. And I can put on my looting set now. Awesome. We should get a ton of Valkyrie. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, now that I've cleared all the threat, we should be able to put on our looting set. Oh my gosh, an X mark room. Alrighty. 50-50 shot that we get this. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling like the odds are in our favor. Let's do it. I've died in these rooms, actually. There, I died off camera once. Very frustrating. A slime spawned in this chamber. I'm starting to think that X-Mark rooms might be getting harder, but I'm going to neglect to do anything about it. Ah, see, see, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to do any fan. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've seen people get so fancy with it. You don't got to be fancy. Oh, um, try to. Okay. Okay. We get a second shot at this. Uh, sure. Sure. That is. What, what, are, what are the odds of this happening? Oops. I didn't mean to Nova. That, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I, I definitely shouldn't have done that, but that'd be very useful not to have had done here. That's very sad. Whoa, slimes. All right. No, thank you. Forgot this was a furious vault. Let's just do that. Okay, cool. We're safe. See? No harm. No foul. Just a little bit of fear. Another dungeon with ornates in them. Why can't I just find an ornate POI like a normal person? Huh, alright. I'll take the dungeons, though. Vault ingots! Oh! We can find those in chests now. Okay, very cool. Mega. Whoa, I got two Valkold from that. Nice, you gotta love it when those things drop Valkold. Green pylons are always such a treat. It's either bonus hearts or regeneration. That regen one lasts for like a minute. Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. Take all the damage you want in the world. All right, back in the certain room. And I've definitely had better ornate runs in the past. But you know what? We got a shield. We have a piece of all gear. And we have plenty more vaults with Hunter set to our ornate observer. And you know what? It honestly feels pretty good, so upgraded. How many How many chests do we get? 25 ornates. Not not like so bad. Not like terribly bad, but th there was definitely a dry spell, I'd say, of ornates. Oh, by the way, our bounty is 17 rip pages, and we get level 39 boots. And I believe that puts them in the tier 4 armor range. And then we have a great one for killing zombies for 38 helmet, which unfortunately doesn't put us in the range, but we do get a bunch of vault alloy. And then we could go looking for some sparkle teen if we wanted some level 40 leggings. And honestly, that's a pretty good one considering all the money we get. So we've got some really good bounties up. Plenty o money though. Plenty o money, which is great because we need that badly. Might as well roll the shield, see what we get. Oh, it was almost a cool one. Ah, 19 block chance though. Not bad, but literally not as good as 20, so go away. Oh, by the way, the Lucky Goose thing is ridiculously expensive. It's got two pogs, 48 vault diamonds, a tiny bit of platinum, 16 extraordinary alexandrite, so all the alexandrite in the entire world, and of course, a trinket scrap. So, yeah, at, um, we're probably never going to craft this, unless we have so many alexandrite that we don't even know what to do with them. You know what, let's gamble a little bit. All right, silk. And I want to craft some more Vault gear, considering that we can now. Still going for... I mean, should I still go for a new hat? I just repaired it. I guess... I don't know. Ah... Uh, um... I don't know. I, f I, f I don't know. I, hat. It's been speaking to me. New helmet's been really, like... like I'm hearing the whispers of an Omega with a, with a helmet, you know? Apparently not. Remarkable. We keep getting iron in our Volter, but it's like 
10 iron or something. Do you guys have any idea what we should do with 20,000 ingots of iron? Because I have no clue. Oh, I gotta enchant my idol. I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget my new beautiful soul chance idol. We're gonna be getting our soul shards back in no time. Okay, perfect. And uh, as you can tell, I'm just gonna run another vault. I mean, I want... I want to craft. Ah, two monoliths and a lucky. I'd love a completion here. Admittedly, I guess I would have preferred a scav vault because 17 rip pages is our bounty for a lot of really good stuff. And 17 rip pages is basic. Oh, lots of ornates. Okay. Two POAs down, one POA up. Nice. Nope, another shield. Come on now. Come on now. I will take the vault ingots. I will take the vault ingots, honest. And I will take coins. Oh, right. There are ghosty goos on this one. I sure do hate these. Rah. Whoa. Whoa. Here they come. Oh, I didn't realive my... My guy either. I should be giving him the old armor as well. I am dropping the ball with my eternal. I'm not taking care of mini-me. How could I do that? It's my favorite little guy. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, I'm so mad at you right now. Okay. I have magical abilities that make spawners disappear. Fear me. Oh, one of the monoliths. I'd certainly like to complete the vault. I could use the, uh, I could use a boss crate, honestly. Those guys drop so much vault gear, it's insane. And sometimes trinkets. Trinkets have to be my new favorite piece of vault gear in the entire game. They're so entertaining to roll and look for. Kill the boys! Kill the boys! Yeah! Wah! Yeah! Ha! Oh, nice. That was a good Gilded Boy. That three Dreamstone's gonna turn into even more catalysts. You know, last episode got me thinking about pets, you know? Because I, I like to go and get all of my cats in real life in Minecraft. Because Minecraft has skins for basically every cat that I have. Which is five, by the way. Um, I love cats. A lot. I'm a crazy cat person. So, you know, be warned. Um, that I'm probably gonna start talking about my cats. If you ask me about them, so I'm not, like, saying you have to ask me about my cats, but, like, if you want to know about my cats, I'm not gonna talk about them unprompted, that'd be weird and creepy, but, like, if you want to know about my cats, you can ask me about my cats. I'll, I'll talk about my cats, if that's what you guys want, though. Only, only, only what you guys want. Anyways, do you guys have any pets of your own? I'm curious. Who's got pets? Pets in the chat. And do you have any exotic pets? I used to, actually. I used to have an exotic pet. I had a scorpion, who I named Jafar, and I loved him. He was cool, man. Um, that is a lie. Uh, I had an emperor scorpion. He was jet black. Beautiful creature. Beautiful creature, okay? But uh, quite nocturnal. Quite nocturnal. And as a child, which I was when I had the scorpone, not that interesting, but I loved him with all my heart. As it turns out, scorpions can be hard to take care of, and he passed away, uh, I would say, before his time. Um, nothing, like, terrifically bad happened to him. I just, like, I think, like, one day at school, I forgot to spritz him with water, because apparently you have to do that to some breeds of scorpion, and he uh, did not make it through a very hot day in the desert. So, unfortunately, Jafar the scorpion, rest in peace, but... Very cool. Also, that was the last monolisk, wasn't it? Yeah, very cool creatures. Um, I wouldn't recommend as a pet for a child. Uh, but if you do want something cool to have... I've had a snake as well. Little guy, though. Not a big snake. Which I think makes him even more... Ex oh, two omegas. Which I think makes it even more exotic than, like, a regular snake. It was just, like, a tiny snake. Uh, it ate crickets and stuff. It was so... Cool, and once again, so nocturnal, didn't do anything. Oh, a chromatic iron room. Oh, how I've missed these. All right, that's the rest of the vault for me. Nothing is more important than a chromatic iron room, especially now that we know we can actually, you know, double our chromatic iron. Yeah, we can fortune it and then double the stuff we fortuned. So rest of the vault, chromatic iron room. Sorry, ornate chests, but literally you're not as important and never will be. Oh my gosh, a helmet and a chest plate and a single chest. What? The luck. The luck. All right, that's my sign. That is our, that's our exit sign, right? That's how the vault tells you, hey man, you've got the completion. 
You've got six stacks of chromatic iron. Leave. Leave this vault. Here's some Valkyr. It's what you're looking for, right? Ignore those living chests. Just get out. And that's what I'm going to do. Because if I die here, my rage will be unending. The fire in my heart will burn brighter than those that burn in the very depths of hell. Although, according to Dante, the depths of hell are actually frozen over. Dante's Inferno. Very interesting read. Uh, I recommend it if, if you're into something uh, kind of like that. If, if you like classical stuff, Dante's Inferno was really cool. And yeah, I'm... I forgot to take my medicine. Wait, I did take my medicine. I did not take enough of my medicine today. Yay, 5,800. Yeah, you don't get a lot from those guys, but uh, 17 gilded, 12 ornate. I think a lot of it came in, actually. Uh, where is it? A lot of coin, but yeah, 94 coin piles. That was a big coin pile vault. 506 more bronze. Hard to complain about 506 bronze. A perfect 18 vault alloy. That's awesome. All right, mana boy. Ugh. Not a not a single piece of vault gear. I I did say they were worse than the normal ones. Is that a new one or not? I can never tell. It is not a new one. Fine. All right. All right. I'll take what the vault gave. I'll take what the vault gave. Let's see about all of our vault gear. Come on, give me something good on that hat. You know, the, the vault knows I've been wanting a cool new Omega hat. Come on, come on. All right, all right, I'll take I'll take a new transmog. I'll take a new transmog. That is horrible armor. Uh, whoa! Okay, 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 okay. That is a beefy chest plate. That is 17 armor on the chest plate. But I lose all my health. I lose all my health. Uh, buddy? Prepare for power, all right? Prepare for power, yeah. 44 Armorino, but you do lose a bunch of health, though. Is the health of the Armorino more important? It's not like he gets armor from... Yeah, it's not like he gets health from the armor right now anyways. It's bugged. All right. Uh, I gotta make a life scroll for this guy because I'm sad to see him so sad. Dude, your armor. You are my champion. I do not like how that looks on you at all, though. You look so ugly all of a sudden. Okay, this giant tower is a solid 5x5, five five, except for that guy who is a little bit of a rebel. But we have our diamond pickaxe, our fortune 4, and we're just gonna... Yeah! Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, this is incredible. Okay, that is, what is that, 16 stacks of raw chromatic iron? Oh, and then there's also the raw chromatic iron that we have from the vaults. So about 16 and a half stacks. Now we're going to head to our epic looking factory. I still have to build this, by the way. I still haven't made a build about it, and a creeper blew this bit up a little bit. But anyways, we dump all of our chromatic iron on into the system. I replace this with a smart shoot. Oh, I should replace that with a smart shoot too. Ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, and the chest is full. Wow, that's awesome. The machine stopped because the chest was full. That's incredible. Oh, looks like we're on the last stack. Very exciting. There we are. Okay, so this much chromatic iron is going to be ours. Dump all of it into the bulk smelting setup. And all we can do is watch in awe as it gets blast smelted by the wonderful mod of Create. Oh my gosh. Almost an entire inventory's worth of chromatic iron ingots, and I swear it's not going to last. Okay, we're starting with 242, ending with 2,284. That was 2,000 chromatic iron ingots, and I swear it's not gonna last. I promise it's not gonna last. Well, this is the part of the episode where I say goodbye, and thank you for watching. I appreciate the support you guys have been giving so much. The comments I'm receiving about people watching the entire series, starting their own Vault Hunters worlds, I mean, it's completely surreal, and I love it very much. It makes me feel good, and it makes me want to continue this series to the ends of time. I promise this channel is going nowhere. For the first time, I can promise you that this channel is going nowhere. DJOJ of the Awesome is here to stay. I'm going to be making content for you every day for as long as I can. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want daily Vault Hunters content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody!